Hey guys, it's makeup tutorial time again. Okay. Hey, hot Miss Pam. Oh my god. Yes! Woo! Yeah. Say it! Bipolar disorder. My shit's not yeah. in order. I'm overweight. Very, very, very simple. I'm always late. I've got so many things okay. to say. Camera cut out again. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by for another round of Carmen's Wet n Wild collection. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about, unfortunately, a limited edition that was last year, I believe, um, and I just finally started actually digging into it. Horrible. I'm horrible at it. I grab them and then I... You know, I have to be in the mood to want to um, play with them. But uh, I have put this in my beauty box um, the last couple of weeks, and I was able to play with it for a little bit. And now I am finally able to talk to you a little bit more about it. Um, it is uh, flirting at the after party. If you're like me at all, you probably already have this because you are a Wet n Wild fanatic. Um, that's how I was. I was very excited. It came with um, the collection last year was this. I think it was last year. It was either last year or the year before. I think it was last year. I could be wrong. Oh, God. Um, anyway, it came with this purple-like palette. And then it came with more of a natural, like, browns and, you know, bronzy, coppery colors. Uh, I believe I already have a video out on that one um, and then now we've got this one um, I am starting to enjoy the purple colors a little bit more lately um, maybe out of necessity maybe out of actually changing my mind I'm not a big purple fan but I know uh, it looks good on my blue brown eyes blue eyes brown eyes so I kind of just you know like gravitated to it because not only was there Naked 3, then I had La Palette 2 from Revlon, and then we had um, the Blushed Naked from Maybelline, and so a lot of them were coming out. Mind you, they weren't more, they weren't purple, they were more mauve pinks, but because of that, I started looking at purples going, hmm, maybe I'll like those. So lately I have been getting a couple purple uh, palettes and been using them and been enjoying them as well. So that's why I grabbed for this, finally. Um, just like any of the Wet n Wild um, palettes, they are the color payoff is amazing. I am wearing it today. I don't know if you can see on my brow bone, I have this color on my lid. I've got this color, and on the smoky part where I got a little bit darker, I kind of combined these two. Um, the way they have it is oh, it's brow bone on the top, then you've got the eyelid color, the second one, the third one's a crease, and then the last one is definer. You can use this to make the uh, smoky eye more, more of a darker, richer um, smoke on the out, or you can use this actually just to line a little bit of the lid to give your eyes more of an eyeliner effect. Um, and of course you can go back and forth and use whatever colors for whatever. I'm assuming that they made it to where one side is for one look and this side's for another look. But I'm assuming that you can use them for anything if you want. There is one, two, three, four, looks like five, maybe six. We'll see when we swatch um, matte colors and then the other ones are kind of satin. We'll start on this side for the swatches. Um, we've got more of a really, really light lilac uh, for, it says brow bone, and then the eyelid color is a nice, rich gray, grayish purple color, um, and then we've got more of a more true lilac purple, yeah, lilac, violet, and then the definer is um, like a, like a deep plum cup uh, color. Uh, the definer colors got more of a satin finish, almost like a blue cast off. And the other, um, this eyelid color's got more, like a little bit of like silver sparkle. So that's what they look like. Of course, just like with, with Wet n Wild, all the color payoff is amazing. Just go right here.
like I said, this is not available, just so you know. Um, I'm assuming that if you are a big fanatic and you want to find this, I'm sure you can find it on the internet somewhere. There is what the colors look like. But just like I said with my Wet n Wild collection, I am going to be um, also focusing on limited edition uh, finds that I do get on the internet or ones that I have gotten but have haven't been able to get to you to um, show you the Wet n Wild stash, which is unfortunate. I do have a couple more that I do want to show you and I haven't even used them um, and I know they're not available because they were limited edition but I always like looking at them and checking out the, the stuff and maybe you know kind of looking out for that particular color that might be in another um, palette that Wet n Wild will offer. Let's go to the other side where they're more of a pinky purples and so the brow bone one is more of a pinky lilac or pink toned, like a powder pink almost. And then the eyelid color is a matte, Ooh, that's a really bright lilac. The crease color is a deeper, richer purple. And then the definer is a deep color. And actually all of these are matte on this side. I think that's one of the reasons I got this was because I loved that they were all mattes. And this is what they look like. These two middle ones are really nice. I actually uh, did, which one did I do? This color on my lid before I started smoking it out. And I liked how it looked. So I might kind of use that as a... Uh, um, just a nice splash of color one of these times if I'm kind of busy but still want to be able to uh, put something on. There's what the colors look like. We got the dark. That's a color I'm really enjoying. And then the lilac color. I don't know. My viewfinder, I can't really see it, but you might be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah. Yep. There it is. This was just going to be a really quick video. Um, just wanted to show you that, you know, there's other options out there. Um, unfortunately, you do have to do some work for it. Um, but I'm excited for the new um, collection that's coming out. I just threw one out there that had to do with fall collection, the wild ones. So I'm really excited to see what they have going on for um, the Christmas collection. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later and I hope that didn't upset you too much knowing, wow, look at that palette and then, yeah, you can't get it. But I always like watching the videos as well um, to see what's out there, even though I can't get them anymore. It's kind of interesting to see what they, they did or didn't have. So I'm assuming this year is going to be bigger and better than the other years beforehand and I'm excited for it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.